Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on the off-ramp. Today we are taking you to Falcon Lake Campground, uh, Lakeshore side. And let's just say that our experience at Falcon Lake exceeded our expectations. <laughs> As we headed to town to pick up a few groceries, we decided to take this kind of meandering trail that is alongside the Lakeshore Campground. It's been probably at least 20 years since we've last been to Falcon Lake camping and uh, many things have changed since then. Uh, in fact, these added amenities like the docks, uh, I believe are, are new from the last time that we were here. We haven't seen them before. No, no, but a lot of nice docks and then uh, there's also a nice fishing area as well too. So. We had a, had a chance to get out now in the evening a little bit. We had to go pick up some buns so we could have our Smokies today. I'll go get a fire going. Yeah, and this is Monday and it was kind of rainy and cloudy. Cooler open. Hey, it's not snowing. This we can survive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good for us to camp in all sorts of weather. Yeah. So yeah, if we have a rainy day, that's good for us to figure out a way to keep yeah. ourselves busy. So now we'll head back to the van. Have some supper. Have some supper, start a fire, roast the, uh, roast the dogs over the fire. Actually, they're Smokies, so that's even better yeah. yet with our frozen gas station yeah. buns. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast is being made inside today. It's raining, which is our first day of rain this year, actually, for cook, for camping. So we make pancakes inside. And here's your tip today for pancakes. If you need a good pancake mix, Kodiak 14 pancakes from Costco, or anywhere else for that matter, 
They're really good because there's lots of protein in the pancakes and they're flavorful. And very good with whipped cream and blueberries and strawberries. Perfect. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Thank you. That's the popper's portion. <laughs> Wade likes to have a little bit of pancakes with his whipping cream, and that's why we buy the double pack of whipping cream at Costco. Hope your breakfast is great as ours. This is the first time we're eating indoors at uh, while camping. This year. This year. True. Yeah, pancakes are just a good excuse to use whipped cream. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your breakfast. All right, so here's High Lake. So he, I came to High Lake the last time I did a, a trail. All right, we're going to be hiking on Falcon Ridge Summer Trails, specifically the very popular Top of the World Trail, which we oh. I've seen posted lots in hiking Manitoba, so I'm looking forward to actually doing that trail myself. Well, not totally but, yourself. Not by myself, because, you know, <laughs> we've got him and all his gear. So yeah. I'm carrying the gimbal, and I promise you I will not wipe out. Uh, do you want your hiking sticks? I don't I don't need my hiking sticks. Okay. My ankles are feeling good today, and we're going to get going. And uh, I'll stop recording once it gets a little rough. But So a little outhouse here to for the comforts of home when we get back. Oh, top of the world, this way. Top of the world. Okay, I'm just going to show that. And if you use the All Trails map, it says to start at the Little Red Outhouse. <laughs> All right, so top of the world, arrow, no motorized vehicles. So I guess we can't drive our van up there. Mm, I'm thinking not. I'm thinking not. And I have done the High Lake Trail, and the High Lake is beautiful, especially in wintertime before the snow comes. The so ice is all frozen over. This trail is like up and then down. Not long, but a climb, correct? Is that the idea? Have you been here before, Wade? I have not done this trail before, Ooh, so I don't it's know. new for both of us. Okay, but I'm going to mark this on our... Oh, we're going to track our steps. We need to get that white shell map and track all the trails that we've done together. Mm-hmm. We've got a pretty good list and of trails start. that we've covered in the white shell. Here we go. All right, let's go. Standing on the Lakeshore Campground Beach. It's a smaller beach. You can see some of the campers have actually a view of the lake. And it's, I think the campground itself has more privacy, uh, wide uh, uh, sites that are good size but treed the, compared to the other campground. What would you say? Yeah, it's a bit more of an intimate campground and uh, it doesn't feel quite so crowded. I mean, it doesn't have the amenities though. The beach that's closer to town does, but I really, I really liked this campground here. If we came back to Falcon, this is the area that I'd want to stay in.
We're at the main beach at Falcon Lake, and this has a lot more amenities. So here we have the beach house where you can order refreshments. Great boardwalk that goes all the way around. And what we're finding is that there's a very big consideration for accessibility as well. And a couple of playgrounds, change rooms, washrooms. It's well set up for the crowds and for people to enjoy. But here this morning, there's very few people at the beach. I'm thinking it would get a little bit busier. I'm sure that on a weekend and a beautiful summer day, we would have see this place humming. Accessibility on ramps, mats. That's our modern uh, washroom facilities in the background. Great showers, nice clean washroom, clean daily. And uh, again, showers, a loony for three minutes. I believe you can use toonies as well, but uh, nice and central into the campground. So that all works very well too. Bay two, site 33, that's our view from here. So would you come back to Falcon Lake Campground again? I would come back to Falcon Lake Campground. This has actually been a nice day. We've been at the Lakeshore side campground in Falcon Lake. And it was a pleasant surprise. But here we are during the week in June. So we're not going to get that kind of experience either. It's a different experience yeah, yeah. with it's the time. Been, it's been good. It's yeah, it's a, been it's really good. good. Yeah, lots to do here from tennis courts to miniature golf, which we were going to do and we never did. Mm, yeah, we were going to recreate a photo from 40, <laughs> 41 years ago. <laughs> yeah, we spent our honeymoon here and we went mini golfing and we had this great photo from then. You don't have to just hike. There is plenty to do for families. There is, yeah. And bicycles, uh, there's great bicycling all over, uh, especially if you have a young family. And uh, so you can bike all over town. And I'm, and I'm sure the high season shopping would be more open during the evenings. You would not have to buy frozen <laughs> buns from the gas station. From the local gas and station. we are thankful right. they had them. That's right. So at least with our Smokies, we had buns. <laughs> yeah. um, it was great going to Falcon Lake Campground. We really liked the Lakeshore uh, Campground itself. And uh, it was wonderful running into some subscribers. Yeah, it was kind of neat. It was good. We got to meet Travis and Janelle, who had been camping there for a few days. And it uh, looks like we'll be meeting them again at Clear yeah, Lake. It'll be fun to see them there. Yeah. And it was neat to run into old friends, uh, Heather and Martin. They are also entering into van life. And I think that's how they kind of got onto our channel. But they spent the day with us. And we ended up hiking to the top of the world a second day in a row so that they got to do it. Well, that was a bit much for me. But wow, Heather, you were inspiring. And so we can hardly wait to be able to camp with them as they start camping in their van. That's right. And it was also nice to <laughs> yeah. see some, some subscribers we'd met at Otter Falls. Right? Oh yeah, so this was good. Colleen and Raj, it was nice to see you guys again and your uh, cute little guy who talked and talked and talked. Yeah. Yeah. And just, you know, we love that when he talks. He is he's a good else. visitor. Yeah, he's a good visitor. Now, that wasn't planned. I wonder if we're going to end up in the same <laughs> campground again. Kind of hope so. <laughs> I have a feeling we have two more months to go. So yeah, we could maybe. Again somewhere. So we're hoping our videos give you an opportunity to check out some of these campgrounds and give you the information that you need. Now, if we're missing information or you're more familiar with some of these places, please add that to your comments. And uh, if you think there's something we need to see, let us know. Because one thing that will help for us is if you, if yeah. you subscribe, uh, you'll get updates from us. And if you hit the like button, it helps us out as well, too. And we, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. So if you have hints or comments or ideas for us, yeah, please great. pass them on in the comment section. So we continue to camp Monday to Friday. But, you know, we have learned to hold, hold our, our plans, plans loosely. loosely.